Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Arms and Armor. Today I want to show you a custom piece we're just finishing up for someone and describe how our custom process goes. Stay tuned. So this is a custom piece uh, that someone ordered based on our German bastard sword with this highly decorative hilt. These beautiful spiral ends. It's a gorgeous piece has the regular German bastard sword blade, right? So this is a, it's a pretty big sword. I would say that it's right on the boundary of a two-hander. I mean, you can use it in one hand, but you'd really want to use it in two. And normally this has a big globose pommel and just a full leather uh, grip. So this customer wanted a custom pommel, right? Which we fabricated and made for them with wire grip uh, on the backhand section on the blade. And this is the kind of thing that we do all the time, right? So some makers just list 87 different options, but you know, we're a custom shop. A lot of the stuff we do is custom. So if you want something custom, let us know. And you can just send us an email and we'll send you a quote. Or if you order something, you can then send us an email and we can tell you what the price difference is, right? So this kind of wire wrapping, uh, you know, it's not super hard. There's several kinds of wire wrapping you can get, actually. This is just a single twist wire wrap on our rapiers. We often do, you know, two twisted wires with two straight wires between them, whatever. There are several different ways that we can do it. Switching out a pommel usually isn't that big a deal, although we typically have to adjust the blade a little bit to get the performance right. And this pommel's half the weight that the other pommel was, so we've taken a little bit more weight out of the blade to make it function uh, and move correctly. Now, we also have, as you can see here, a peening nut on the end with the peen. This is something we prefer to do on most of our pieces because swords shouldn't be completely disposable, right? If some part of it goes wrong, you should be able to fix it. And it's one of the nice things for people who live in the Western Hemisphere here, our customers, uh, of having a swordsmith who's in the same hemisphere as you, right? If one of our swords, something happens to it, right? You have a fetter and your grip gets chewed up, you can mail it back to us or bring it by and we'll put a new grip on it for you, right? That's one of the reasons we prefer to have this kind of construction so it's easier to take it apart rather than, uh, you know, grinding out a peen uh, deep inside of the pommel. It's one of the reasons they did it historically too, right? If you break your blade and your hilt's still good, we can make you a new blade, right? But, we try to only do this on our work, right? Recently, as a favor for a friend, we were working on a kind of old sword they got from somewhere. I'm like, all the parts are different sizes. It's just not worth it uh, for us to do it. But for our swords, when you buy something from us, we'll be here, right? If you wreck it, we can fix it. We'll charge you, but it's a lot cheaper than getting a whole new sword once you buy a sword from us, we're your cutler. We'll keep working on it. So, custom pieces, no problem. We do them all the time. Take apart ability, we do that. But we also don't just sell pommels and you know pieces willy-nilly because different makers make things different ways and just popping something on and off isn't generally a way to make a quality sword, right? So we'll use our knowledge and our expertise to make sure that your custom sword works like the kind of sword you want it to be, instead of just popping some weirdo pommel on there. All right, thanks for listening to my custom sword rant. Uh, hope you liked looking at this pretty piece going to go off to its forever home here very shortly.
Take care, guys.